to Star Trek Deep Space Nine The Fallen. This is episode two of my Let's Play. My name is Will Breen. And when we left at the end of the last episode, we had pretty much just started. So, fairly standard introduction to any Star Trek story. A uh, distress call. And we've gone on board the ship to locate and rescue the survivors. However, whilst we were on board, uh, the Defiant, our tough little ship, was attacked and Worf is dealing with that and the man doing an impression of an Irish man voicing uh, O'Brien is he's down but not out. So let's crack on with the rescue mission, shall we? Uh, the ship has been attacked by giant space robots. Well, they're not giant, that giant, they're just bigger than us. We've got to keep an eye out for those. You can't just shoot them while you're doing Elite Force, you have to get through their shields first. Hmm. Wait, what's that? Help me! Somebody! Cisco to O'Brien. Help me! Part of the ship Somebody. is flooded with plasma and sealed off by a containment field. Sir, from what I can tell, the emergency systems are still functioning. You should be able to flush the plasma Somebody. by using a local environmental control console. But you'll probably need an access card to operate it. Understood. Let's go out. Hang on. I've just watched the last video back and the... Even though there is... Um, yes. There are subtitles. The speech volume is a little bit low for my liking, so... My peril. I'm just going to up it a couple of notches. No, should be more enjoyable. Right, <clears throat> so O'Brien's just told us, or somebody pretending to be Ow! O'Brien, <laughs> that there's a way to switch off this poisonous gas that is sealed behind this force field, which hurts when we run into it like Help we just me. did. Somebody. But it's just causing that man a bit of grief. I use my communicator and I... Oh, you need the yellow key, the engineering card. Oh, look, there are maps of the ship all over the place. That's useful. Adjust your phaser's modulation to match their shield harmonics. Thanks. Figured that one out before even Dax told me. So I need to give you a um, pattern enhancer without getting too badly electrocuted. Ow. Adjust your phaser's modulation to yes, match yes, their shield yes. harmonics. Give you thing. No. Adjust your phaser's modulation to match yeah, their shield harmonics. I'm trying. Which button do I press now? Damn it. Is it equip? There we go. E. Doctor, right. I've located a survivor. Pattern enhancer placed and activated. So long you. It's locked onto something. Oh. It's like an engine room to me. Anyway. Very dangerous place. We should leave it. Ow! It's up. Quite annoying. No, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ow! Why can't the electricity hurt him? Right, report. Sir, I'm doing everything I can to keep the Defiant in one piece until we get tactical and propulsion back online. Acknowledged. Cisco out. Apparently I've died. <laughs> yes. Oh. No. We're loading the game. Wait, no, it was F6, wasn't it? Sure you want to load a save game, yes. This isn't the save game. Clunky. User interface is very clunky. I have to switch to the D-pad buttons rather than WASD and I can't use the mouse. It's just just insane. 
Sorry, I'm very cranky. It was incredibly hot last night, and it's incredibly hot now. And I didn't get much sleep. Help me, somebody! Yes, save the thing. Cisco to O'Brien. Part of the ship is flooded with plasma and sealed off by a containment field. Sir, from what I can tell, the emergency systems are still functioning. You should be able to flush the plasma by using a local environmental control console. But you'll probably need an access card to operate it. Understood. Cisco out. You can scan the bazaar and look. You can tell you what rank he's in. your phasers modulation to match their shield harmonics. <coughs> I've located a survivor. Pattern enhancer placed and activated. Okay, I just run straight into that, but it seems to make no difference one way or the other. Yeah, that console, but I need the bloody key, don't I? No, you're just one of the lame little floaty robots. Take you out without even trying. No, you did hit me. Don't appreciate that. Wait, somebody's calling. Or not. Oh wait, I remember this, it was a glitch. Also, that's the sound that my phone makes when I get a text message. It's a very much kill on sight situation. Ow! Damn this door! Oh, why did it electrocute me twice? Uh, do I have health? I do not. And a left. Sure goes down fast enough. <clears throat> More of the little blighters. Oh, they're already shooting. Now these ones. It'll still cause you harm, it'll electrocute if you get too close, and the auto-targeting doesn't lock onto them anymore, but you can vaporize them. Save yourself a bit of trouble. Phasers are incredibly useful things. Uh, I think if you blow up crates, you sometimes get... <clears throat> oh, they tore a hole right through the ship. Dax, an alien pod has breached the hull of the ship! Ben, be careful. It may be an unexploded warhead. No, I don't think so. The pod cut its way through the hull. I'm transmitting a scan for analysis. Cisco, out. Am I? O'Brien, report. Huh? Sir. I'm doing everything I can to keep the Defiant in one piece until we get tactical and propulsion back online. Understood. Cisco out. I didn't mean to press that. Hot projectile weapon technology unknown. That wasn't useful. Hmm. Canister containing toxic waste. Of course, a research vessel has bottles and bottles of toxic waste on board. Why wouldn't it? I'm kind of hoping for a health pack of some kind, a uh, hypo spray. Oh, another Bajoran. 
Hello. There you go. Doctor, I've located a survivor. Uh -oh. Pattern enhancer placed and activated. Do we know what those things are yet? <coughs> Tactical unable to comply. No, we do not. Huh. Ooh. The yellow key! Yay! Progress! Right, we can go and do the thing, I think. Uh, I don't think that door was the one that electrocuted me. That could really hurt somebody if they were stood under it. Come on. No. No! Damn it! What is going on with this thing? There's a body over there. Benjamin, I've completed ah. my analysis of the breaching pods. They appear to be personnel carriers. The aliens use the pods to insert troops directly into their target. A molecular phase inverter allows the pods to slice through shielding and even hull armor. Dax, see if you can modify the defined shield harmonics to counter the pods' phase variants. I'm already working on it, Captain. Dax out. She's not messing around. Hopefully that'll drop the shield. And suck out all the bad, nasty air stuff. Plasma leak, that's the word. Alright, I can send you on your merry way. Oh, I, I just stole your command card as well. Fine. Priorities. Doctor, I've located a survivor. Pattern enhancer placed and activated. Oh. You a big one or a little one? Little one. Okay, Doctor, he may have a hole in him, but he's going to the med bay, he'll be fine, right? So, Dax was saying about these uh, alien pods piercing the hole and dropping off troops. That is very familiar to people who've watched Star Trek Into Darkness when the Enterprise attacked by a swarm of, like, insect ships that stab into the hole and unload a bunch of baddies into it. Or just stab into the hole and tear the ship to pieces. So, yeah, you saw it here first, folks. It's much more fun in the film. I say fun. You actually saw it happen. Whereas in this, you have to, like, use your imagination. Right, uh, this one. Command card. E. Program. Oh, that's much worse. Oh! You remember when I came back here and there was one of those big evil robot things in there? I could have just killed him with that. Ah, did not know that. Well, I did it the old fashioned way, so. I'm guessing that it'll do the opposite in this case, it'll switch off all the bad electricity. Yes, yes, I'm just explaining to people. And myself, mainly. Consider yourself rescued, my good man. Cisco to Bashir. I've tagged another Cisco survivor. Bashir. Ready for immediate transport. Are they looting here? I found a uh, hypo spray. Excellent. Need that. Health slash I antitoxin. Okay. Good things. Um, was there anything this way? I seem to remember coming up against. Yes! This is where I want to be. Command card. 
executing, doors opening. Maybe I should keep this out in case one of those big guys shows up and I have to very quickly scan his shields before shooting him. Okay, nobody around here. And you keep locking on to life form. Buddy! Ow. I'm still limping on the floor there. Another one of those pods breaking through the hole. Ah, oh, that's the lift. I'm not allowed in there till I've rescued everyone. Oh, hello. You all right there? Doctor, I've located a survivor. Pattern enhancer placed and activated. Get it? Am I done? Can I move on? Oh, ah! Strafe, strafe. Oh, you're not getting me in the shins, you little git. Oh, I'm out of juice. Big weapon. Wah, wah, wah. That door is not working. Hmm? There's one of the big ones there as well. Species Grigari. Huh. I've read about them in a Star Trek book. At least I think I read about them. I may have dreamt, dreamt it. I was working nights at the time and reading like Google books whilst the machine was running. Oh, oh yeah, this one just keeps spitting them out, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah. These pods are spawn points. Pretty much what Dax told us. Stop shooting me! I'm the one doing the shooting. Right. Let's take care of that big one. Yeah, so, if I remember rightly, the Grigari are cyborgs of some sort. They basically have a medical addiction to having uh, all kinds of technology implanted into them. So, uh, yeah, they just end up looking like robots. And they're really not very nice. They don't show up in like the main shows or anything. Don't tell me. Oh, I just got shot in the back. Can I go to deck two? Apparently I can. Someone running around out there. Nine Bajoran survivors in this system. Ah! Get back! Get back! You should leave. Phasers are useless. The aliens have shielding. Yes. We we would be long dead if we didn't figure that out. Sooner. Whoop! Please be health. Hooray! And ammo! Pardon me. This button does nothing. That's where we came in. Or is it? Oh, there are two lifts. Oh, that's fine, I suppose. Why would you not? Whoop! Oh no! No. Yeah, I read about these guys in a story that... Ah, oh, that's the wrong weapon! I read about these guys in a story that 
tries to cover up some of the gaps in the history of um, Zephram Cochran, the man who invented warp drive, and then buggered off. It covers that bit. Who's calling me? Oh, not you again. Cisco to O'Brien. One of the ship is flooded with plasma and sealed off by a containment field. Sir, from what I can tell, the emergency systems are still functioning. You should be able to flush the plasma by using a local environmental control console. But you'll probably need an access card to operate it. We've already well, done this one. Go out. Got the access card. I did it downstairs, unless it's a different access card. Engineering card, there we go. Program executing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't let you through to this level, part of the level, until you've done that at least once anyway. Game design was a lot harder back in the year 2000 or so. People didn't tell each other which part came when, it seems. Oh, I do have a little flashlight thing I can use. There we go. It's not quite perfect, but, you know. It's a slight improvement. Nothing in here then. Okay, we've cleared this sector. Whoop, big one. Uh, F2. Come on. Don't lock onto the crate. So why is standing next to a crate? Oh, he's holding a crate. You can throw things at me. Swine. <clears throat> yeah, the reason these are in the Zephram Cochran story, from what I remember, is that one of these, like, terra firma, earth first types. Wanted Zephyr Cochran to make a weapon. A survivor. Pattern enhancer placed and activated. It's apparently when he was testing one of his first warp drive designs, it exploded. Not surprisingly, and um, it left a big empty sphere with no collateral damage. Just a very interesting weapon for a terrorist. And this guy chased him across the universe for it, and he used the Gregari to help him live longer. So yeah. Wait, does this contain anything useful? Oh well. I feel like I'm not shooting enough things. Brian, is there any way to bypass the security systems on the Bajoran vessel? I'm afraid not, sir. You'll need authorization cards to access secure areas and systems. Understood. Cisco out. Yeah, even Cisco's getting sick of this whole green card, red card, blue card nonsense. So, there's still a card around here that I haven't got. Dang. Ah. Uh, Thought I'd explore everywhere to be honest. Thought I'd been quite systematic and you know I'm good at this kind of thing. There you go. So beyond there it appears this rows of six little rooms, dormitories, it would seem. I've been in all those rooms. Not liking the lightning. Little flashlights run out of juice. Can 
of energy cells are they using this game? They must have batteries that last about 50 years. Slow recharge for a bit. It does have unlimited power, it's just you've got to let it. Let it alone for a while. Okay, I'm fresh out of ideas. Ah, the lift. Maybe I need to go up one. So I think that's the one I came in, so I've been there. Let's go up a level. Yes, this level is actually... You only have to load one level. There's two levels to this level. Does that make sense? Deck 1 is a totally separate thing. Deck 2 and 3, depending on which way you're counting. Yeah. Command the cars. There we go. Let me in. I'm command. Oh, it's the bridge. Well, have you ever wondered this is what Bajoran Bridge looks like? Well, there's that bad ship outside. And there's the Defiant. Here's to still be launching torpedoes at it. I should really get a move on. Oh! My goodness, there's a man right there. Why don't you say something? Just standing there in the dark waiting Doctor, to be picked up. Located a survivor. Pattern enhancer placed and activated. He didn't have the bloody key either. Ow! Ow! Oh my goodness! Don't scan the bloody card reader! Species unknown. Wrong weapon! Oh, that was such a palaver. And this is the easiest level. You see why I've done this one now? I try not to jerk the camera too much, but it's just this control system. It's so different. That electricity hurts. Noted. If I had to guess, I'd say this was sick bay. Window. The reactor is destabilizing. <laughs> Get off the ship. Save yourself. Again, you just stood in the dark. I'm here to save Cisco you. Cisco to Bashir. I've tagged another survivor. Ready for immediate transport. Oh, you're not quite gone. There, vaporized. Oh no, I feel I may have to crouch. Hobble, hobble, hobble. Uh, no, no, oh, that's not happening. I don't get why he jumps like Mario with a, like one hand. Dangling electric wires, yes. Okay, apparently that time he got through. So that's green, don't have the green key. Where did you come from? Don't like being snuck up on. Oh, 
Half an hour. Well, <clears throat> we'll call it a night there. We have yet to rescue everybody. We're still looking for the green card, and the defiant is still being attacked. One tough little ship. Ladies and gents, if you have been, thank you for watching. I've been Wolverine. This has been DS9 The Fallen. See you next time. <laughs>